Good afternoon. This is Linda K. And it is Sunday, December the 20th of 2020. And it is 12.41 p.m. And I am going to do a Whip Parade Class Block 2 video. So it's a combination of both. And this will be a very long video video so get your favorite beverage your snack and sit back and watch my whip parade uh the weather is sunny but it's cold and we are supposed to get snow tomorrow and there is mr buttercup and of course he is going to start acting out because i am making this video he had to get in on the act. And he loves attention when ever I make my video. But of course he's not gonna come to me. Come here, Buttercup. Come here. Buttercup. Come here. Come on. Come here. Say hi everybody! Look at that sweet face! And he's gonna bite me. Aw, oh, look at that sweet little face! He is so innocent. Not. Ow! He in a biting mood. But at least you got to see Buttercup. Sometimes he is so hungry. Okay, let's get started with this whip parade. And I have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I hope that's right. 14 whips, and I thought, now I'm reading, oh well, and I thought I had more than just 14, but evidently not. Okay, the first one, and this is not in any particular order, I'm just going to do them as I get to them. <coughs> okay, the first one is... And I, yes, I do. And, um, Witches of Salem by Tits, by Primitive Hair. <coughs> and since I'm talking, I'm going to throw coffee now. And this is, I'm not going to take it out of the hoop. Well, no. Because ain't that much to say. Well, yes. Hang on. I'll take it out of the hoop. Now. I have a slight problem with this. I I ran out of thread. Um hang on a minute. <coughs> In fact, I ran out of two colors. Um Garden Gate versus Gentle Art Threads. And dry thyme, which is gas, but the so Garden Gate and dry thyme are the two that I ran out of. So I cannot finish this until I get more thread. And I'm doing this on. Hang on a sec. 
I'm doing this on 20 count vintage country mocha, Cashel Lennon. And I started this this year, October 13th of 2020. And I love this fabric. Oh, it is so wonderful to this on. So soft. So easy to this on. And I got this fabric. From one two three stitch, and it's a modeling in it, and I love it. I would love, love, love to do all of my projects on this fabric, on that type of fabric. But of course, <laughs> probably certain project would not look good on this. But there's another one that I want to do, that I have in mind. On this on that type of fabric so I am keeping my well I always keep my notes and each project is in its own vinyl plastic um, story bag I will try not to show you the pattern like this And each project has its own box box. Some, some of them are small, and some of them are the regular bigger size ones. This is the only way that I can stay organized, keep each project, get it up, everything in its own vinyl plastic bag, so I know what where everything is at. So as soon as I get the two threads that I, that I so definitely need, then I will start working on that again. And so I have a big order that I want to put. I have a big list that I want to put a order into um, my LNS, House of Stitches from LaPorte, Indiana. So... I want to get fabric, I want to get threads, and some other stuff from House of Stitches. Okay, the next project is, now, this was given to me by a friend of mine a long time ago. Or like last year or year before. <coughs> I think it was last year. And she started this project. And I'm trying to see if I wrote down. Bobby did not. No, I did not. Oh, darn. I usually write down the date that I throw things, whether it's given to me or not. But I did not do that. Okay, here is the pattern. This is the day and I'm a Sabbath meeting and by Parker Bros. And I did work on this 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 year. And Here is what I got done on it so far. Let me get the right way here. Hang on a second. Yeah. So, my plan for this for this new year 2021 and that I'm going to finish this the most difficult area that I'm going to be having is uh, there are two horses one right here and then that one is like right here and 
and it's gonna be hard to do the horses because the way they're the way the designer made them for the pattern. But this is <coughs> this is gonna be my one of my fin finishes for next year, 2021. So that's my plan for this. And if <coughs> And a 14 count, Ada. So that's that one. So that's whip number two. So next year, 2021, I'm going to finish the Amish one. I'm going to finish um, um, Witches of Salem. So that's two things from next year. And I better put this back. I don't need it. So that is two finishes that I'm planning on having done. The next one is a called Kitchen Visitor. And the pattern was designed by Pamela Kellogg. I don't know why I have a hard time saying her last name for her. And she is on Facebook. And here is the pattern, I mean the picture, what it's going to look like. And I started this on February the 11th of, of this year, 2020. So, and this and I'm planning on finishing this up in the new year, too. And here is what I got done on it. Okay, let me figure out. Okay. So I got part of the birdhouse done. And I'm working on the greenery. Hang on a minute. Get my thread out of the way here. There. So I got part of the greenery done. I got the birdhouse almost done. Which is the the white and the brown and the brownish tannish color. And I'm doing this on 14 count light blue Ada. And I got it from one, two, three stitch. So that's and I'm planning on having this finished next year too. 2021, my third finish is going to be happening in 2021. And I hope you all keep in track of that. <laughs> okay. The next one is now, see if I can find a Um, wild, wild, try this again, wild, call, and winter, and it's done in some kind of foreign language that I don't know anything about. Uh, it came as a kit, and a 2001 
Dimension Kit. And I don't have no idea where I got this from. No idea. But I have a friend that um, loves wolves. So if I ever get it done, then this will go to her. And... Okay, go this way. I think. Hang on a second. I got to figure out what way this is going. Okay. That's what I got done on it. I'm doing this on 14 count. Light blue Ada that I got from House of Dishes. <coughs> so that's what I got done. And I started this. I'm gonna find my notes. Well, obviously, I didn't write anything down. No, so I don't have no idea when I started it. But I'm going to work on this some more in the new year. Hopefully, because I do really want to get it done. Okay, I think this is my oldest heaven and earth design whip. And here is what it's going to look like. Sorry about, there you go. And if, oh shoot. Okay, hang on a minute. I'm having a flight problem here. Okay, there you go. Uh, this is my first Heaven and Earth design that I have ever started was my very first one. And I restarted that three times. So the third time I started on Friday, September 23rd of 2011. And I'll take it out of the hoop. I prefer hoops over poop naps because they're so much easier to handle and they don't hurt my wrist. I'm almost at the end of the halfway I am on the very last page for for the for where am I at here for right here I still got six more to do and I'm done with my halfway mark it, it will be half done
and I am on page. Eleven. Now, if you want to see my ugly back, that's my ugly back. So. But yep, I'm at the halfway mark on this. And I will be, and my child, my first kid that I had was, was railroad. Well, he loved to chew on fabric. So, he chewed on the bottom of this. A little rascal, that's his heart. I know you can see it or not, but but right where right there. Right in there is where he chewed it. And then he chewed it again. Right there. And then that little rascal, I can find it. So, oh, right here. Where the white tape is at, he practically chewed a great big hole. So I am hoping and praying that when I get done stitching on this, that number one, I will have enough fabric on the sides. Number two, that the holy area <laughs> will be hidden by the frame. And there are tons and tons and tons of confetti. All the top was, you know, all this part right here is confetti heavy. And I mean it's confetti heavy. And of course, you know, my first one didn't know what the heck I was doing. So I should you know, I just got stitching on it and, you know, and took it from there. But, <coughs> but since then I wanted to do the loop method and do the quilters knot. But I'm doing this on the, <coughs> on 14 count, white, not 14, 18 count, white Ada 2 over 1. So I do the loop method. <coughs> That's on it. I do the loop method when I drop my threads, and then then if it if it's not too much of confetti in that section, then I should pull my threads on the previous stitches. So this is my oldest whip. My oldest, oldest. And I am planning to have it done next year. 2021. One way or the other, I'm going to get this done. Now I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the boxes oh, come up here. Okay. The next one. Is my. My. Second. Heaven and Earth Design. 
project. And it is called Jewish Library Verified. And the artist is Reynolds Bangor, and it's Heaven and Earth Design chart, and it's designed by myself, the 80 of Heaven and Earth Design. That's what it's going to look like. And I am making this for my library, for my local library. And this project is going to get done as well next year, T2021. And, and here is what it looks like. I am on page two. No, ain't right. Page four. I'm on page four, and basically that's what it looks like. I want to take it out because I got right where I wanted it. So that's my second heaven of design that I have started. The next one, which is a heaven and, and earth design chart project, is, and I keep all my heaven and earth designs, all of the the original pages of the pattern, I keep it in a three ring binder, like one inch size, one inch size, and I just get them at Walmart. They're real cheap. So here is what the next one is it's, um, hanging with some butterflies sloth and there's the art the the artist is Gina Pike. And of course, it's charted by a shell of Heaven and Earth Designs. And here is, I worked on this today for a little bit, and last night and this morning, in fact, I, I worked on from midnight until 3 o'clock this morning. And I'm doing this on time 5 count, Lugana, 1 over 1. And what you see, I think, come on. What you see is the the flower petals, and then the brown stitches that you see as part of the flopped head. So I am down to the very last ten by ten block right here, and then I can start the next column. And I'm telling you, this is very confetti heavy. And I'm only doing a 10 by 10 block at a time. And that's where I do all of my heaven and, and earth designs projects. I do one 10 by 10 block from start to finish before I go to the next one. <clears throat> and I started that on... Yeah, keep it in my notebook. <coughs> March 23rd of 2020. 
So I throw this this here. And then, <clears throat> here is Kelly and Kelly and 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 my favorite whip. Kelly Ann, are you watching? Hi, Kelly Ann. Hi, Potter. Hi. I forgot your other kitty's name. I'll think of it midnight tonight. But um, this is called <coughs> this is called uh, <coughs> tequila by uh, Disrobia. And here is where I'm at. All oh, that sun. Oh, God darn it. But you can get the gist of it. So I'm checking the word tequila and the greenery that is underneath that on the be the left hand yeah. Left hand side of the chart. Oh there we go. And so once I get the left hand side down, which would be page three, and then I can finish up the very last page, which is page four, and finish the right hand bottom of it, and then I'll be done. So basically, I got the word and a shot of tequila and then the green we underneath that's it so this is gonna be my fourth finish for the new year well maybe this year I'm trying to get it done before the be, you know by the by New Year's Eve uh, yeah New Year's Eve So I would like to get this done by December 31st of 2020. I love this. It is so colorful, so bright looking, and I did not change any of the colors. And I'm doing this on 14 count. Ada. I love it. This is going to hang up in my kitchen. Oh, Killian, I thought of your other kid's name. Hi, Stella. So, Killian, I'm getting close to my finish. Kelly, Kelly finished hers earlier this year. I thought she's the one that got me to um, get that tarp because I love what, you know, hers and I feel in love with it. So I just had to get it. Okay. So that's going to be another finish for this, hopefully for this year. So if I get that one finished this year, then that will make, and I, I'm not bragging because I don't stick very fast. It will be my second or third finish for this year. So I'm... A very slow sister. Okay, this is my new start for this year. 
and this is the secret garden by across my heart and I bought this long, long, long time ago from uh, House of Dishes and Report. And I love this. I had a hard time drawing this because I, I wanted a pinky fabric, but I could, I could not find one that would work with this. Fuck up, stop. And I, I'm a diehard fan of unicorns. I love unicorns. And I tried this on June the 19th of this year. And I'm doing it on 28 count ice blue Lugana, two over two. And it's mine. I ain't get, get, giving it away. And one of the things I'm planning on doing also next year, 2021, is that I am going to get some pictures, some of my crotches framed at um, House of Dishes and Report. I was going to do it this year, but <laughs> other things came up. But this is my lousy small start. And I probably have to grid my fabric so I don't get lost. But, oh, hang on. You can't. But, I don't know why it's blurry, but it is. But you can kind of get the idea. I'll show up better when I get more done on this. So that's my first 10 by 10 block, and I'm not done with it yet. And I'm planning on working on this in the new year. Because I love this pattern. I love the fabric. I love the colors. And I really want to get more done on this. So. And. Like with my heaven and earth design, even though this is not a heaven and earth design chart, I'm doing one block at a time. Ten, a ten by ten, ten, ten by ten block from start to finish. And I love this so much. This is one. I love all, all my whip. All my projects, but this is one of my favorite ones. Okay, the next one is I know. Oh, this is not one of my oldest whips. If I can even I don't know what that is gonna make for. Oh, maybe because I'm kind of good. I haven't worked on this for so long that I don't know what what. And I cannot find the 
hung it in his thumb, but I just don't know where it's at. Well, once upon a time, I had a piece of paper in here. I had no idea what that. But anywho, here is the picture. And it's called the alphabet soup. And it's by the design connection. And I don't think they're even designing anymore. And and I missed that because I love their patterns. And here's the threads. And I'm fixing this on. Hang on. On the uh, 28 count ivory Zoba. And I got every, I got my thread, got my fabric, all that stuff. From, uh, I'll say this is. I started this long time ago. I don't have, I don't have my paper when I started it. And I don't know why I don't, but I don't. Uh, okay, I just about lost my needle. Okay. This also is, well, I shouldn't say all of it. Uh, I am going to put my needle up here. Okay. Some of this is very, it has quarter tissues in it, which I do not like. But, I will do them. If I have to. Only if I have to. So. That's what I got on it. Done on it. And I'm telling you the flowers are a pain in the neck. It's all coarse dishes. So I got to do one block at a time, 10 by 10 block, and I back stitch as I do it. And so I got most of this side done, but <laughs> on the other side of this, going, going that way, I got more flowers to do. And there's my needle miner. It's a seahorse. My little seahorse. I love seahorses. They're so cute. So, yeah. So, I am hoping that I can get more done on this. You know, I will, I would like to get the flower done. Uh, done on both sides of it and then and then you know the top the top of this right here one that way that's all regular cross stitch and and then there's vine going up and down in this color right here so yeah I started this a long time ago it was probably back in
See, I moved back home in 2015, so it was back in the early 2000s. Now, I don't know what happened to the paper to it. And that ain't gonna happen again because I, because I bought me a whole bunch of my uh, composition notebooks and five subject notebooks. And I'm gonna start keeping track of all my projects on paper. Okay. I have one, I got three more to do after this one. Okay. Here is another one that I got from a teacher on time ago, and I mean a long time ago, and you would think I would have it done by now, but here is a picture of it. And it's called Lost No More by Dimensions. Like I said, a sister gave it to me. And, and I'm not gonna take out the hoop because what where the hoop is at it you know, it's just greenery. Part of the and of course it has cat hair on it. But when I that sound is driving me nuts. When I got this The majority of the top was done. So where I started at was like right where the green tree is at. I from here on over and then of course down. So I was working straight across. So I decided it would be a whole lot easier that I don't have to keep changing pages all the time. So this um ten thousand pages to this pattern. I decided to work my way going down. So buttercup Hang on a minute. Excuse me. Say hi, Buttercup. You ain't gonna bite me again either. So I start working down this way. So I'm gonna be doing columns going straight down. And I plan on getting this done this year. Isn't that right, Buttercup? He's your lovey. He loves to snuggle with his mommy. Especially when she's trying to make a video. <laughs> so, I'm planning on getting this done in the new year. That's all there is to it. I, I love the picture and stuff. But it came as a kit, and I already ran out of the, some of the threads. And so, a uh, nurse teacher was so kind to send me the threads that I ran out of. Excuse me while I reach. That sun, oh, that sun. That sun! And I, <laughs> here is another one, and it's called Mystic Dragon. Excuse us for a minute. 
There. Okay. Magic Dragon. Two. And I buy just four cross stitch. And I got this at my LNS. When I seen it, I fell in love with it. And I'm doing it on black. <laughs> 14 count. And here is... I got... Got my new up at the top so I know where I'm at. So that's how much I got done on it. 14 count black Ada. 2 over 1. And I love the colors in this. And I'm doing one 10 by 10 block. All the way across, and I'm planning to either get this finished this new year or work on it a whole lot more. That's under. Unusual for him to be sitting here this long. Not like him at all. Okay. You don't get that. You're going to stay up here. But you won't get down. Okay, the next one, and I, I'm, I got one more, and then that'll be it. The next one is Spring in the Garden by Leisure Arts, and of course I bought this at I set this in the port, and and the designer was, I wish she was was still designing because I love her pattern. A Donna Vermillion Gompi. And here is what it looked like. What it will look like. And I love it. There is, of course, you know I'm a cat person, so right there is a little kitty. So I may change the color to brown and white. Leave the white where it's at, and then, and then do the brown instead of the black to represent my little kitty, my little army buttercup. I love this. And then there's, you know, you can do other, there's other pattern in this too. I, I love this and I'm so glad I bought it when I did because you probably can't even get this anymore. And I'm doing this on, if I don't have my notes for this mm -hmm. either. Oh yeah, I need to. I tried this on Friday, April the 7th of 2017. And I'm doing this on 28 count I flew Atlanta. So I tried this in 2017. And Oh, they ain't gonna work. Okay. Oh, God. It's a book of stuff. Hang on a minute. Okay. You can get the gist of it. But that's how much I got done on. So part of it is the, is the bench. 
And then the then the other part of it, the orangey, yellowy, greenish, reddish colors, as as part of the quilt. And I love this. And I so much want to get this done. So I'm planning on working on this in the new year. This is the reason why I keep everything in their individual vinyl plastic bag. Minor plastic bags and they're real cheap on Amazon because everything is together the fabric, the threads, my notes if I remember to put my notes in it, and the pattern and everything you know, and they're it, everything is together in this plastic vinyl bag. <coughs> and I've got 14 of them. Well, actually 15, but the one I'm going to change out the fabric. No, actually 17. I got two. <coughs> I got two that I have started. Now, I'm going to change out the fabric. fabric because the one I do not even like. <coughs> the fabric. I don't know. It's too slippery or something. It's linen. And... I love linen, but this is really, really slippery and it's hard to work with. Okay, down to my very last whip. So far, we're at 57 minutes. This is fine with me. Okay, I haven't decided yet on this. I may change out the fabric, but I got all of the frosty forest charts, which is by Country Cottage Needleworks, and I have the stitching the first one, but and I'll show you all of the patterns. This is a uh, raccoon ca raccoon cabin. No, we did. No man cottage and there's nine patterns to this series. Uh Nori Friends Bluebird Cabin. Frosty Forest and I'm making wealthy copies of these as I do them. Uh, no Girls Cottage No Reindeer And the last one is Frosty Forest. And I'm stitching these all on one piece of fabric. But I'm carefully thinking of, instead of doing it on 14 count, Ada, and the Ada is stiffer than a piece of 2 by 4 
that's what I got done on it so far. You can see that line, that white line is part of the border. But the fabric is so is pretty stiff. I don't really like it. So I'm going to stretch it out to uh, San Pico way. I want this is on 28 count ice blue. So that's that's why I haven't worked on it. So I got my four projects now that I'm gonna have to just fabric for. Um, one of the projects I call the bookshelf by. In a little house, I think my little house needle work, and I and that's the one that I don't like the fabric for. And so I'm gonna be switching that fabric to an uh, even weave, and then switch that fabric out to to 28 count even weave. That's two. And then I want to get fabric for uh, two of my heaven and earth designs. One of them is Mini Alice in a Dollar Dream. I want to get fabric for that. And then the other one is one of the limited editions by he Heaven and Earth Designs, the very last one that she came out with. Has, you know, as Greeny bluey colors, and they're like a dragon up in the corner, and books and stuff like that. So I want to get fabric for that, and I got everything ready to go for that project. And I do want to get started on that next year. So as soon as I get the fabric for that and the rest of my threads for that, then I can get it started. And I'm not from now on. I'm doing all my heaven and earth designs on 25 count. Oh, and I started The Four Seasons by Jack Yurka, which is another Heaven and, and Earth Designs. I started that on 18 count. I'm going to um, gonna switch that out to 25 count, one over one. So, because it, you know, all the Heaven and Earth Design charts are big, and even though they're confetti heavy, most of them, it's easier to do it on 25 count. Because you can do, if you use one strand of thread over one square, then you can do, you can chart your threads with a quilter knot. And you can end your threads by doing the waist the waist knot method. So from now on, twenty five count one over one for all my heaven and earth designs. And so, in the new year, I'm gonna get fabric for the bookshelf. I'm gonna get fabric for the limited edition of the of uh, the one that has the dragon up in the corner. Get fabric for that. Get fabric for the uh, Frosty Forest series. Get fabric for Mini Alice and the Dollar Dream. And then I want I want start another um, Blackbird design because I love their charts. And I got most of the gas threads anyway, so I might as well do a another pattern by them. And I forgot to bring it, but 
I'm almost done with my memorabilia. It's Earl, Earl Grey tea by memorabilia. And all I have left to do is the beating. That's it. That's all I got left to do on it. I got some of the beating already done. I just have to sit down and do it. So that's going to be another finish in the new year. So I will have more finishes in the new year than I have had this year. And I am not joining in any groups whatsoever because I want to be able to stitch on what I want, what I want, when I want to. I do not want to have to feel the pressure of getting, of getting so many stitches done or working on a certain project by a certain amount of time. I'm one of these people that have to take my time in stitching. And I do not like to be under any type of pressure. So, and plus, due to my bone, con bone condition that I have, which is, for those who do not know, it's osteogenesis imperfecta, which means that my bones break really easily. So as long as I don't fall down, I'm fine. But due to that, it causes muscle spasms, severe muscle spasm, really, really bad. And in my left shoulder blade area. I've had trouble with my left shoulder blade area since I was 13 years old. So with that in mind, I cannot sit and stitch. Like from 8 o'clock in the morning until 3 o'clock the following morning. I, I, I can't. Because the muscles in my shoulder blade were hurting and aching. So, that's the reason why I will not join any groups. Because I cannot sit and sit for hours. I just can't. I have to take breaks and I can tell when I need to take a break so there's some days that I don't even stitch and that's the reason why it takes me so long to get a project done because I cannot sit for hours and just stitch my back won't let me my shoulder blade left shoulder blade area won't let me my eyes won't let me So, that's the reason why it takes me forever to get anything done. But I am making progress on everything. In fact, this year, I have worked on all my whips except for the, T, except for the alphabet soup one. That's the only one I did not work on this year. Oh wait, I did too. I did work on it this year. So, take that back. I worked on every one of my 14 whips. I'm so proud of myself. Yay! I only have 14. I thought I had like 100. But I don't. I only got 14. So in the new year, sometime in the new year, I am planning to start a few things. But most importantly, I am going to get all the fabric that I want, plus all the threads that I need, and then I can get some of my projects finished. So, and this month has been really rough because... <coughs> because I've had to spend three hundred and sixty dollars on all my meds to get them refilled and cash. So there went my money. 
was I am thankful for that I had the money to buy him, but at the same time, it put a pinch on my spending. So, but 2021 will be a new year, and hopefully we can get back to normal. And I am planning on getting the vaccine when it's available at my doctor's office. Because I'm at high risk. And hopefully we won't have to be wearing our mask once we get the vaccine. <clears throat> so I want to welcome, I should have said this at the beginning, but it's a sheep. Oh, and by the way, this, if I didn't say it, this is vlog number, number 2525. Um, I should have said this at the beginning, but I didn't because it just went right over my head. I want to thank all of my subscribers for returning and for watching me and for putting up with Buttercup. <laughs> and for those who have subscribed between last video and this one, I want to welcome you and I hope you enjoy watching what I talk about and show on my videos which is mostly cross stitch and I appreciate each and every one of you and I probably won't be back before the end of the year so I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas and I hope that the new year will bring you lots of blessing and lots of stitching and I want to wish all of you a very happy new year. So I am going to go because we're at 1 hour 12 seconds and 16 minutes. So with that in mind, I am planning on making a video probably next Thursday or Saturday, probably Saturday. I'll make another video on Saturday, the 26th. Because Christmas is on Friday, so I'll make another video on the 26th and show you what I stitched on. You all have a very good afternoon, evening, week, and talk to you in my next video. Bye.